Carltonville is an old mining town. With some operations having closed over the years, young entrepreneurs spotted opportunities to work with the space and not necessarily the land. Fusi's strawberry farm stretches over two and a half hectares and his fruit never touches the ground. As the mines in Cottonville area have closed down, the farm came up for sale. We purchased the farm and we started growing hydroponic strawberries, which is labor intensive. There aren't many hydroponic farms of this size in South Africa. So a lot of the technology that we are using was not available. We had to import that technology and then staff members or people that could build this type of system aren't locally available. So we've trained a lot of them how to install and manage and get systems like this on the go. Hydroponic farming requires a constant supply of water. All rain on this farm is harvested and directed into a dam. There are boreholes on the property too. Growing strawberries is no easy feat. It took up to four years in research and development, putting in the right nutrients, getting the water supply correct in order to produce this beautiful fruit. We moved to hydroponic system um, because we can apply the right amount of water with the right nutrient solution to each plant individually and we can recover the water too. So by doing that method we are saving a lot of water, we are making sure that, that the plant is fed properly and we are getting the optimal return from each plant and also using hydroponically we can put more plants per square meter. Fusi's farm is also making a big impact in this community. I just want to see this farm growing and then making opportunity for um, our community, especially for the youth. The rate of unemployment is high. The experience in terms of uh, technology, new technology, uh, rather than planting from the ground itself, for me it has changed my life tremendously. Agricultural activity across the globe is being impacted by global warming and climate change. Farmers are having to adapt to adverse weather patterns and the hydroponic method is proving successful. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Carltonville, South Africa.